I'm going to take a couple of minutes to talk about my Aunt Lynn Mahaffey. Uh, she passed away this week. She was within one month of her 90th birthday, so a good long life. I'm really happy to have known her, really happy she was in my family. Uh, my, in my dad's family there were four kids, uh, two boys, two girls, and I think I'm right there. But two of the girls married two brothers, and two of the brothers were named Mahaffey, and we've got all these cousins named Mahaffey. A lot of them, I don't, I don't know. Them. I, it's, it's just one of those things in life. But uh, Aunt Lynn uh, was like a figure in my life. I mean, we spent a lot of time with her family. Well, not, I mean, a lot in the nuclear age, you know. And she is featured in a book called Lilydale. Lilydale is a community in upstate New York that uh, is about spiritualism and other things. And uh, the authoress of the book, Christina Wicker, went to debunk spiritualism because of her very religious, Christian religion, uh, upbringing. And the book is interesting, I think, but I, I like those sorts of things. But the first two words in the book from Lilydale are my aunt, Lynn Mahaffey. The aunt Lynn's like the first, and it's like, holy cow. And when I read the book, I, I enjoyed the book. But in the book, she says, at one point to Christine Wicker, she says, you know, <laughs> live your life. Just do what you want. This is your life. Nobody can tell you how to live it. People can tell you. They can tell you how to live your life. They can tell you how not to live your life. But this is your life. Live it, damn it. Or don't. Who cares? Now, if you do, get over it and live your life. When I went to uh, Aunt Lynn's for Christmas one time, <laughs> I went in the kitchen. Uncle John was there. I said, hey, where's Aunt Lynn? I said, oh, she's taking a nap. She's sleeping. I said, well, let's, let's go wake her up. <laughs> Uncle John offered me a beer and said, I'd sooner walk into the den of a bunch of really pissed off tigers than try to wake your aunt up when she's napping. He said, let's wait and enjoy her when she wakes up. <laughs> Words of wisdom, we did. We'd count on Aunt Lynn for a few things. I went into the kitchen and I looked at the clock and said, Jesus, you know, it's this time. She said, no, 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 that clock's late. I thought, why don't you change it? I don't think she ever did. <laughs> Warm milk on the table. Uh, she did a video. Her son took a video of her uh, the day before she passed away, or two days before she passed away, not long. But she said, this is the way things are. And it's true, this is the way things are. This is your life. Enjoy it or don't enjoy it, but there's a certain amount of perfection to it. And I think I learned that from Aunt Lynn. Have a fun weekend www.micpeakperformance.com